Kyrie versus Damian Lillard. The battle of the sixes. The sixes. You both had six chances to get it right. Who is banging it right now at number six? I see you dusting off some dust over that side. A little spoiler for you. Yo, what is up, you two? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing the Nike Kyrie 6 versus the Adidas Dame 6s. Let's get it. Yeah. First and foremost, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball. If you would like your pair of either the Kyrie's or the Dame Sixes, head over to the description box below. Click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website where they will take care of your basketball needs. But of course, before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below which shoe you prefer. Is it the Dame Sixes? Is it the Kyrie Six? Or are you just not messing with either of them? Let us know in the comments. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to get notified every time we drop a new video. I said that one hella quick. You did. I might miss a few words still. It's fine, they get the gist. Damon Lillard and Carrie Irving are two of the best point guards in the NBA. Facts. And it's mad to say that they're both vets of the game now. Easily. I remember when they both came into the league, they were both, you know, exciting rookies, but now they have matured and their kick game their signature shoes have also grown and matured. And we now have the sixth iteration of both the Kyrie's and Dames in hand. Wow. And today we want to see which shoe's better. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As per usual, starting things off with the most important part, it's the aesthetics. Which of these comes out on top when we're talking how good each of them look? I think it's a tough one. I don't, personally. I hear it. Okay, the point goes to the Dame Sixes. Yes, it does. The point goes to the Dame Sixes because this colorway in particular. In particular. This Too Faced inspired colorway right here. Wow. With the roofless on the midsole. Wow. It is sweet. It's so sweet. But come on, man. Let's not, let's not slight the, the Carry Sixes, man. I the can't. Carry Sixes I do can't. look You're cold. right. This there are is... certain colorways that are beautiful. Kyrie is hands down colorway king. Yes. He is. He is. He's, He's known for just clocking colorways when it comes to his whole signature line. The, the six actually launched with 11 different colorways That's on North Step crazy. across the world, which is insane. So good for you. However, if I'm taking away colorway and even potential on what they could do with a colorway, I'm still going with the Dame Sixes, man. They're cold, cold. Next up, we've got the traction. Now here in the Dame Sixes, we have the Don't Fix It If It Ain't Broke herringbone traction pattern. Obviously in this colorway, we have the translucent outsole. Yeah. And it got the job done. It was really nice, it was really sticky. Yes. Which on one hand is great if you've got a really clean court, but if you've got a really dusty court, dust collection is there in it. Dust collection is, in, is there in abundance. abundance. You get me? I think there's still some dust on here right now. You can get all I'm over really, the floor. I'm sorry, I'm random. sorry. I just wanted them to, I don't know if they saw that, but there's still dust on here right now. I'll sweep that up. <sighs> so you continue, okay. Just in the atmosphere. <coughs> <coughs> ah. Whoa. That was not good. Uh, are you done? I'm done, sorry. The Kyrie 6, talking traction, the all C and I traction pattern. It's gonna do whatever it needs to do on yeah. the court. It's just that simple. This is the Kyrie we're talking about. It's to be expected. He's been known for it. To be expected. Grooves pretty much everywhere. Yeah. I'm getting aesthetic vibes. I'm getting Aztec vibes again, sorry. Yeah. I'm getting that pretty much around. It's wrapping around as well. Similar to the Danes as well. It does have a really good wrap around. The pivot point actually really helps with those twists and turns and pivots as well. And it just, I really enjoyed it. I've yeah. got nothing to say pretty much bad about it. The dust collection was pretty much minimal too, due to the deep grooves. And the compound's really good too. Yeah. So is. I think if we're going to talk which, which side wins, it's carry six things. It's carry six. We'll see and that takes a cake on that one. Next up, talking about the cushioning in the Kyrie six. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, there's no real discussion here to me. No, I know that, but let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Phylon carrier with a Nike Zoom Turbo Zoom bag in the forefoot. Yes. Turbo being flexible, being large, making it articulated throughout, makes it feel really nice underfoot, yeah. just in the forefoot. Yeah. In the heel, we've just got that Phylon foam, which is great for impact protection and heel straps when running, but it's pretty basic and straightforward throughout. Yeah. It's always been a gripe when it comes to Kyrie. We just can't seem to get it perfectly right, but we did get forefoot. 
Fair and enough. we do love four foot, so that's yeah. strong. I'm happy with that. Whereas here on the Dame Sixes, we don't hold out. Nah. We give you full length. Yeah. And it's full length light strike. The Dame shoe line has previously hosted Bounce. Yep. And this is the first time we've transitioned to light strike and it banks. Differently. The response, can't even front. the court feel, can't front. impact protection, everything is sweet. Can't, 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 it feels so good. And he has Roofless written on the midsole. That adds to it. I feel like I don't power in them because it has yeah. Roofless on the yeah. midsole. And it's lighter than, than Zoom as well. It is. And the file on carrier. If you combine what Zoom has to have as a file on carrier, yep. and if you combine a lot, you're getting light strike, full length throughout. It's no, it's a no question. Come on. I think they get who they, they know. Who I think they get it. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we can move on. Let's move on. I say no more. Say, 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 say. Next up, we have the materials. Now, over here in the Dame Sixes, we have an overall textile mesh construction with touches of suede on the lateral side, and obviously on the toe box as well. But I think that's for for aesthetics, whereas the lateral Must side be. is more for bonding. Got you. The overall theme of the shoe is lightweight explosion. Okay. Yeah. And the shoe is very, very light, and that definitely comes from the materials. The materials awesome. are very minimalistic and they're beautiful. They just they, they feel great out the box. Breaking time is zero. It's not even minimal, it is zero. Straight out the box and the shoe feels great. It almost feels as if someone broke the shoe in for me before I even played in them. That is exactly what you want. I don't know what you got for me. I don't know if you can top that, Timmy. But it's I mean, kicking off of it. to have shoes broken in for you must be nice. Yes. Because on this side, that's not really the case. I don't think it's intentional, but I mean, the Kyrie 6 has a mesh in the forefoot yep. and synthetic materials at the back in this colorway specifically. We now know that colorways are coming out or even the original black colorway was a leather, which was a sexy leather. Yeah. Buttery leather. And then we've seen suede as well. So it's going to be changed up in this side. But combining them all together, you get a weighty shoe. Yep. Those materials are going to weigh a bit more. They're going to take a little bit longer to break in. They but did. when they do, they're nice. And they're not very breathable. Not so you're losing a few things. You're not getting much flexibility. You're not getting much breathability. You're not getting much lightweight. Still good materials, but that's as far as it goes. They're just good. Mm. The point goes to the Dave Sixes. Safe. Next up, we're talking about the fit. Now in the Kyrie 6, it's a great fitting shoe because it it's is. true to size, hugs the foot very, very well. And to even add to that hugging yeah. is that midfoot strap. Yes. You strap it in and it just feels really, really nice. There's not really more to say. It's a good fitting shoe. Yeah. Whereas here in the Dame 6s, the fit is also really, really good once you double up in socks. Mm. Okay. We did recommend the performance review that if you don't like to double up in socks, then you should go down half a size. Yeah. However, if you do double up in socks, the fit over here feels amazing. It feels really nice. It comes from the materials and the lacing system as well. It runs true to size, whether you're wide or narrow foot, you're really good. So yeah, the only gripe is you'd have to go down half a size, but apart from that, the fit is decent. I think that's just, the dame kind of comes with a bit of work. To yeah. get your fit right. Either yeah. you've got to go down a half size or you've got to buy another pair of socks, which is never ideal. It's not. So I think the point goes to the Kyrie 6. Yeah. Because yeah. you just got the job done out of the box to yeah. do the fit. Yeah? Yeah. Safe. I'll take that. It's been a minute still. I ain't got a yeah. point in let's, a minute. Let's give him one. No, no, I don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, we gave, we gave you no, one. It's not give me one. I, Kyrie and me earn this one, innit? Allow me. Okay. Allow me, allow me, yeah. allow me, allow sure. me, allow me, allow me. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Moving on to support, in the Dame 6s it comes from the outrigger shape of the shoe for lateral support. We have the internal tip of your heel counter and the overall fit of the shoe obviously of which, which gives you that lockdown feel. The support was, it, it was okay, okay, it was, it was okay. Because of those lightweight materials, right, you are going to suffer a little bit when it comes to support, but we'll take it, yeah. we'll take it because yeah. the shoe still gives you you know, a, a, a good supportive system for these light materials. Yeah, and I think off the back, the same thing in the Kyrie's, but reversed. Yeah. We talked about how the materials do lose flexibility, breathability, and maybe it adds weight, but they second to none in structure. Yeah. They're all gonna hold up really well, so the support in the Kyrie was amazing. The support in the Kyrie, I think, is 
maybe one of the most supportive shoes of the year. There you go. I think so definitely the most supportive shoe for guards. It's in the conversation, 100%. 100%. I mean, the midfoot strap along with the four foot bands, which yeah. you've seen in a few carries before, then the external heel counter, outrigger shape, the fantastic traction which adds to this, yeah. even the flat kind of outsole, which also yeah. helps with heel strikes, you've really got an amazingly yeah. supportive shoe. And let's not forget to mention it's, it's, it's a mid-high top shoe. It's a mid-high top so, shoe. The, yeah. the synthetics and the levers at the back, going back to materials, are gonna hold up extremely well when we're talking support. When you lace these up, you feel extremely locked in. Yeah. That point goes to the Kyrie hands down, 100%. Yeah, you take that one. I'm taking that one. Yeah. Last and most certainly not least, my favorite category of these comparisons, the price slash value. Now the carry sixes are priced at 115 pounds, which I'm not mad at. No one's mad. I would pay 115 no pounds for carry sixes. No one's mad. You get Zoom Turbo. Love that. You also. get a, a highly supportive shoe. Very. You get good structured materials. You get excellent traction. Incredible traction. 115 is deserved. 100%. This shoe over here is priced at 85 pounds. That's wild, bro. 85 pounds. This shoe is 30 pounds cheaper. That's this shoe is 30 wild. pounds cheaper. Fam, we, sometimes we just have to, 85 pounds for a fantastic basketball crap. I mean, spoiler alert, obviously the point's going to go that side, but wow. I'm speechless. I'm, just, I'm actually speechless because fam. this is not like outside the realm of like, no. Like, you know, good value, good shoes. value shoes. Yeah, not, not even close. It's all in the same conversation. But for this to be eighty-five pounds is ridiculous. That is a bargain. It's not. It's I that is it's different. It's different. It's, ah. eighty-five pounds. So right, guys. I mean, off the back of that note, Dame is a real one. So it's no surprise the score is four-three to the Dame six. I'm not even mad. I'm rooting this side. The Kyrie six is a great shoe. Great traction, structured materials, fantastic fitting shoe. But the Dame, at 85 pounds, does all of that. Maybe not so much in the structure and the support, but it's still a very yeah. good supportive shoe. And it's just an amazingness. And overall, I think we both agree that we enjoyed our experience oh, in the yeah, Dames yeah, 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 a lot yeah, yeah. more than the Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting a better performing shoe for 30 pounds less. Wild. No brainer. It's literally a no brainer. Literally a no brainer. That is everything from us. Massive shout out to the plug over at Pro Direct Basketball. Again, if you'd like your pair of either of these amazing shoes. Now, of course, the Dame has won this comparison, yep. but by no means is the Carry 6 a bad shoe. The Carry That's 6 good. is still in my rotation. Facts. I love hooping in the Carry 6s. So both of these shoes are, are do you know what I mean? They're both It's up good. to you. It's up, it's to, up you. to you. Literally up to you. You've got all the information now. So head over to the link in the description, hit the link or a pro direct will take care of you like they always do. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below which of these shoes you prefer. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell next to that to get notified every time we drop a new video. video. So right guys, that's everything from us. This is the Nike Kyrie 6. This is the Adidas Dame 6. Wear pure kicks. Let's get yeah. it. You get full length flag strike for 85 pounds. Oh, don't start again, bro. The video is finished, bro. I can't, I can't do this now. Really deep it, yeah? I can't because any other shoe with light strike in it is 109 in the Harden. Next level was what, 160, wasn't it? 160, bro. And that was just them being cheeky because we took laces off. Too expensive of a shoe. But they dropped it for 85. You get light strike for 85 pounds. With the word ruthless on it.